Okay, so now for, is the final stage of developing your composition. Um, so by now, um, you should have cut out all your images um, with, so they have a transparent background. Now we begin resizing them. So all I need to do first is click on the image. Uh, you can see on the side here, I've turned, clicking this little eye button, um, I've turned all my other layers off so I don't get confused at the moment. Um, so what you must do, if you see this is happening, um, it's because I'm not holding shift and I'm losing the proportion. Remember when, remembering we're drawing in hyperrealism, um, so we want to have that proportion stay the same. So look what happens when I hold shift, it keeps my image in the same proportion. So you must be holding shift when resizing your image. Okay, get it to where I want it. This up the top here, we see this little hand comes up. This allows me to rotate my image. Okay, so all I'm doing is clicking, holding my mouse and rotating. Uh, remembering we don't want many of our subject matter um, to be perfectly vertical or horizontal. Um, so I'm going to unlock all my layers so you can see how high I have ordered my images. Um, so once I have my final ready to go, um, I'm going to click save. And what we're going to do is save as a PXZ first. So save name that art and click save okay that file allows us to come back and re-edit your photos if you don't finish it that way you can re-access it and just simply reopen okay if you have fully finished and you never need to touch it again you click save you go to jpeg and we'll go to 100 percent higher quality and then what we're going to do is save as and then click uh, reference and save that. Okay. Once you have those, you are ready to begin your trace for your final artwork on your large size paper.